a former American military base, Iqaluit Airport was given over to Canada in 1949. Iqaluit has gained increasing importance when it became the capital of Nunavut upon its creation in 1999. Growing interest in the resources of the Eastern Arctic makes this airport the economic harbor of the region. Sintra's part of the contract is to be carried out over four years. 2014 and 2015 were dedicated to grading, repairs, and expansion of the existing aprons. 2016 and 2017 are earmarked for the construction of the terminal parking lot and paving of the entire airport. As a public-private partnership, this project poses significant challenges. Sintra is responsible for the civil works and participates in a non-integrated joint venture with Buig's Building, which is responsible for building the new terminal. The project's parent company is Arctic Infrastructure Partners, and Winnipeg Airports is responsible for the airport operations. It's quite important when you're doing a P3 project is to choose the strongest partners you possibly can. So every partner that is on this project has a strength in a certain area. And then if we look at Sintra, uh, the works they've done on the airfield um, and why they were chosen for the project is because their experience and expertise in developing pavement systems, tarmac systems, dealing with all the airfield lighting system in a complex environment. Sintra's recruitment and training strategy is aimed at encouraging the participation of the Inuit community, an important contractual commitment, since the airport is located in First Nations territory. The remote location creates major logistical challenges for planning and transportation. This is a P3 project in an extremely remote location, so if one is not well prepared, the slightest mistake has dire consequences. The Arctic seasons represent another challenge. Work is only possible eight weeks of the year on average. It's all about planning and anticipation. This is absolutely essential. Anticipation of contract, of execution, and of logistics. Moreover, the airport is located on permafrost, a thick layer of ice of varying density according to the season. Sintra brought in a world-renowned specialist to help them through these complex issues. We had the opportunity to provide the necessary information on the impact of climate change on the stability of the structures so that they can better plan and accomplish their work. In 2015, Sintra was contractually bound to repair the landing strip in 30 consecutive nights. During the work, the runway remained operational and available to medical flights and other aircraft, which added to the logistical issues faced by the site managers. I've never seen uh, a team on any form of highway repair, whether it be road-based, uh, whether it be airstrip, working quite um, in such a well-managed way. Uh, every component of the team uh, knew exactly what they were meant to be doing. That completely blew my mind. Beyond its proven expertise in extreme environment road paving, Sintra shows, with this project, its great capacity for adaptation and management in public-private partnerships. Mm -hmm.